After all, after we have cleansed every atom of our bodies of toxins and toned it into perfect balance, we would still not be free. After we have taken every workshop from every enlightened guru, we would still not be free. After meditating for endless hours and days and weeks and years, we would still not be free. After repeating affirmations and mantras every morning, noon, and night, we would still not be free. After all the angels bless the earth and humanity with their divine love, we would still not be free. After every light coat has activated the planet, our cells, and our DNA, we would still not be free. After friendly aliens reveal themselves and offer us all their technology for saving the planet and making our lives balanced, safe, and comfortable, we would still not be free. After every dark entity has been cleared from every dimension, we would still not be free. After we have filled our environment with candles, incense, crystals, mandalas, sacred music, and fresh flowers, we would still not be free. After surrounding ourselves with nothing but high vibrations and people who resonate only positive, uplifting energy, we would still not be free. After the world has been cleared of every abusive person, company, and government, and every religion has been cleansed of hypocrisy and control, we would still not be free. After every war and war machine has vanished from the face of the planet and our minds, we would still not be free. No process, no practice, no discipline of any kind brings about our freedom. There is no magic wand that can do what we alone must all do, becoming nothing. As long as we believe we have a separate identity, and there is anything in any experience that is not one as us, we are still not free. Only when we are nothing can the light of truth fill the void and return us to the awareness of who we truly are, God.